Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to do the if-then-else statement inside of R here. So before I get typing, get carried away, uh, let's start a new R script. Um, so today's video is on the if-then-else function. So I call it a statement, but it's a function inside of R. So this will be a good video for those of you coming from more of a business background. So um, the if then else statement or function uh, works just like Excel's if statement. So the way it works in R is you type in if else, which is what it's technically called, right? This statement is the if else function. So maybe I can change up up here in the notes, but I'll just put it here, right? If else, if else function. So this is technically what it's called. Um, the if else function though, it really takes on three different, I call them parameters or variables here or statements. Um, the first one is going to be your statement or essentially your condition. And then the next piece is going to be true. So if it's true to do this, if it's false, do this. So it's really, you know, if something, then do this or else do this. This is why we call it the if then else. Um, so let's create some variable to get started uh, for height here. So this will be like your height in inches. Uh, we're gonna say height is going to be some vector and we're gonna say, I don't know, 39, 48, 42, 52, 60, 41, um, 38, 49, 58, and 42. Okay, we'll run that. We have height now. Um, and let's say Sally uh, wants to have a birthday party, uh, but only kids uh, tall enough to drive go-karts uh, can come to the party. So if not, they can't come. Okay, so let's say, you know, the rule at, you know, the, I don't know, the go-kart place, so the rule at the party place is those that are 48 inches or taller can drive a go-kart, right? And you don't want kids going there that can't have fun and play on the, the go-karts here. So our condition is going to be um, the statement or the condition here is going to be, you know, height has to be greater than or equal to uh, 48. If this is true, what I want to happen, uh, I want to say, you know, they can come to the party. So I'll return one here. Uh, and if this is false, they can't come to the party and I'm gonna have it return zero to let us know that. So to actually code this, we're gonna say tall enough is gonna be what we're creating here and we're gonna assign to it if else and we're gonna put in height is going to be greater than or equal to 48 and then we're gonna put comma. If this is true, I told you I want it to give me one. If this is false, I want it to give me zero. Now you could put in here a character one which maybe we'll do here in a second, but so we'll run this real quick and we'll print, you know, tall enough. And we hit 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. So if we scroll up here, we see, okay, the first person's 39 inches. They are not 48 or higher, so they get a 0. The second person is exactly 48 and it's greater than or equal to, so that's a 1. And then 42, you know, it's less than 48, so they get a 0. And you can see here that these actually work. The functioning is rational. Um, I'll do this as well. So let's just do tall enough and I'll call it char for character here. Uh, let's just do if else height is going to be greater than or equal to 48. If it's true, type in party. If else, put no party. Okay, I'll run that and then we'll print this out and put print tall enough char, run that. And you can see here it's a little messy down in the comments. You can see though, if you look at it real quick, that zero is no party. So the first one's no party. Second one is gonna be one. So it shows one here, it says party. Okay, so you can see here, right, in this example, uh, the, the code is really straightforward. Okay, that's a simple example, right? But let's say we have a more common occurrence here. So uh, what if uh, we have some statement that we wanna test, however, we want to return nothing if it's false. 
So I don't know, let's say you have a bunch of data and let's say you go through and you're looking for a specific value. And if that value is met, you want to change that or add something to it or create some new column and say, you know, yeah, this person is going to the party. But let's say if nothing happens, like, okay, they don't meet the condition. I just want that original data, right? What would you do in this case? And this is fairly common for a lot of coding problems. Okay, so let's just do this in what we would think is logical, but I'll show you why it doesn't work here real quick. Um, if you did tall enough, we'll call it error because we're going to get an error from this. If else, uh, do height again, which is going to be greater than or equal to 48. Let's say it returns one, else nothing. So just leave it blank and see what happens. Right, like I said, it's going to give you an error, right? It says argument no is missing with no default. So this isn't going to work, right? This gives us an error. Uh, this basically just shows, you know, that the function needs all of the arguments. So the easiest way to do this is to return itself as the no statement or the condition here. Okay, so what is this going to look like? Let's say a tall enough. And we'll call it just two for simple terms. And we'll say, you know, if else uh, height is going to be greater than or equal to 48, uh, return one, right? And then the no condition, we just return itself. So height is going to be what we inputted. And only if the height is greater than or equal to 48, I want it to change it to a one. Else, all the other values, all the other heights will just stay at whatever they are, you know, 39, 28, whatever it is. So we'll run that. And then we'll print this out. So print out tall enough to. Okay, and you can see here, right, the first height. So let's scroll up here real quick. Uh, the first height was 39. It does not meet the condition. So it will just remain at 39, which we see down here. Uh, the second value, if you go back up here to the top right, is 48. That is 48 or larger. So it should get a 1. So again, it gets converted to a 1. And then it continues on, and you get the same conditions as we move forward. Okay, so the takeaway from this video, you know, is if, if you need to do uh, an if, you know, else, we'll call it if else, that's what's called an R, but realistically, if you have like a if else, or if then else statement here, what we're really going to want to use here is just the if else inside of R. Um, Again, this is really simple, guys. This is just like Excel. You know, if something, some condition is met or statement, if this thing is a filter, right? We can use this for, again, filtering and vectors, which we've been focusing on in the last few videos. If this, then true do this, then false do that. Again, we're using those Boolean values here, true and false, which are going to be the yes and no parts of this. And then we still have a function in here. So, you know, uh, this can be a great way uh, to quickly filter data in a vector. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, until next time.